Are you allergic to penicillin? Are you sure? Because it turns out that 95% of people with a diagnosed penicillin allergy aren't actually allergic. And this is really important because penicillin is a great antibiotic. People with a penicillin allergy on their medical record get prescribed other antibiotics that are more expensive, less effective, and may lead to more antibiotic resistant bacteria. So if you or someone you know has a supposed penicillin allergy, it might be time to get that double checked. And I'll explain how. But first, let's take a step back. So penicillin is an antibiotic. It's actually also the name for a family of related antibiotics like amoxicillin and methicillin. These drugs are great at their jobs. They're often the first line of defense for a ton of common bacterial infections like strep throat, a UTI, a sinus infection, etc. There are real allergic reactions to these drugs, namely hives and anaphylactic shock, which can be really serious. But these reactions are rare. Scientists have started to realize how rare as people have begun getting actually tested for their penicillin allergy, realizing more often than not, they're not actually allergic. And since one in 10 people people in the US have a diagnosed penicillin allergy, there are potentially millions of people who could actually be taking these cheaper, more effective antibiotics. People are often misdiagnosed with a penicillin allergy in childhood when they're prescribed the drug for something like an ear infection. Many kids develop a rash, which may seem like an allergic reaction to penicillin, but is actually related to viral infections that often occur alongside bacterial ones. Some of penicillin's common side effects like headache, nausea, and diarrhea can also be misconstrued as an allergic response. Once a penicillin allergy allergy ends up on someone's chart, they'll be prescribed other antibiotics that are, in a word, worse. The alternatives have more side effects and are usually less targeted, meaning they'll kill more of your good bacteria and potentially lead to overgrowth of dangerous strains. Plus, they're way more expensive. So it may be best for your health and your wallet to get your diagnosis double checked. An allergy specialist can do a simple pinprick test where they insert a small amount of the drug under your skin to test for a reaction, and then a secondary oral test where you take a small amount of the drug. But some doctors may want to streamline the process further and skip the need for an allergy specialist by going straight to a small oral dose. This was initially seen as more risky, but a rigorous study published last summer showed that it's just as safe and effective as the skin test for people who have never had a severe allergic reaction before. As always, talk to your doctor, but it may be time to find out. Are you part of the 95% who could be free from a penicillin allergy?